Uh, Overeem, first round. Alistair by knockout in the first round. Yeah, it's gonna be quick. Brett Rogers, knockout, first round. First round? First round. Overeem! Overeem! I'd say Alistair, man. All day. All day. Right now. Overeem is gonna fuck Brett Rogers up bad in the first round. First round. You're wrong. You're wrong. Brett Rogers, first round knockout. Game over. Game over. Oh, I gotta go to the house, baby. You know I gotta go to the house. If he can knock out Bob yeah, no. Hardy, <laughs> he can <laughs> hands knock out. out Brett Rogers. Hands down, hands out. Big boy's coming. He's laying the hands on him. If he comes out, no grappling, no nothing. Throw them hands. It's all. It's, he wins. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. I co sign this man. Co sign. Right Thank you. Co sign. You're a Korean. Zombie. That's what I'm talking about. That's right, baby. Fight for us, baby! Yeah! Fight for us, baby! I'm feeling very relaxed. Uh, I don't know. I just uh, put a lot of confidence out of my preparation, my training. It went really well. And uh, what can I say? I'm just relaxed. I mean, uh, you can jump up around, but you're only going to get tired from that. So you relax, you, uh, you know, when, when, once uh, we decide, the team decides we're going to do the warm-up, then we focus and then it's sharp. But until that time, we're just relaxed and having a good time, making jokes, messing around. I've been relaxing all day. Lock me up in my room and I'm just going to watch movies, sleep and um, eat a little bit, sleep some more. And, uh, yeah, save the energy. Always relax. I'm the relax of all of us. I'm relaxed as well and I'm very confident of his ability and, and uh, of his will and uh, I know how much effort he puts into it so obviously it has to pay off but there's always a, an X factor and uh, but I'm not too nervous about it this time. Always you know you have to do your, uh, do your things with the commission and stuff and that's in Japan and that's here, the doctor checks and stuff but uh, we already passed that and uh, now we're here just to relax and wait for the final preparations. What's up, baby? Uh, yeah, good. How are you doing, man? You understand about when I will come in and what I will say if you get hurt during the fight? Mm. Okay, let's talk about it. If you get hit with a shot, knocks you down, you cover up, that's fine. Okay? What I'm looking for is you to try to intelligently defend yourself. Yeah, response. Okay? If it if he comes after you and he's hitting you with shots that are getting through and they're causing you damage, in my opinion, I'm going to tell you, Alistair, move. Get out. That's exactly what I will say. And what I'm looking for you to do is at least try to move your position so he can't stay with the same thing. Try to take away what he's you know, attacking you with. I don't care if you're successful. I care that you're trying. As long as you're trying, it's telling me this is still working. If you get to a position where you can't move because of the place that you're at and you're just absorbing damage, or you do the... You get hit and you turn and all of a sudden you're, you're doing this and you're turning. No one ever trained you. I know. I know they never went and said, Alistair, you get hurt, do this. Okay? You're doing that because your brain is, it's just, a, your that's brain's not working. Yeah. Exactly. You do that, that's why I'm going to be coming in and stopping the fight. So what I need you to do is at least attempt to move to a better position, attempt to change what he's doing. It doesn't, yeah, you don't that. have to be I successful. I just need to see you working because that's telling me it's still working. I got that. Okay? I felt really confident. I got that confidence from my training and my team. And uh, you know, then you're in the flow and then things just go automatically. You don't have to think, it just flows. His plan, you know, it's five times five minutes, it's time. If you're gonna come out swinging, it's 50 50 chance and uh, you're gonna get tired because you're not gonna be able to do that five rounds. So uh, I think he was uh, planning on choosing his time to swing with me. I was hitting him hard. I knew he was uh, suffering damage, you know, almost gonna knock out, not really, but like eight count, you know, like he's boom, and you can see the eyes going a little bit, and then I uh, felt like I'm gonna finish this guy. A couple more punches and he's gonna be out. I think he was out already and I gave him like uh, four or five more, but I really wanted the judge to come in between, because if you stop uh, delivering punches and uh, the judge uh, doesn't come in and the, and the, and the opponent recovers, they're basically giving away a, a really good opportunity to finish the fight. So really, um, and of course, you know, I'm the champion, I have to, be, I have to do it convincingly.
comeback and uh, there's some more interesting fights for me, of course Fader, Fader is a very good fight, so uh, I'm just going to have to wait and see if his management uh, agrees on the bat, but I'm ready for it. And uh, all of this will come evident in the next 10 days, next month, we're going to have the compute plan if it's going to. But one thing is for sure, I'm going to be back in strike force. In the land of the rising sun, we had fun, but here in the United States is where he's going to really be great. There was only one man who will turn the nightmare into a dream. You can have a good life unless you face Alistair Overeem. Watch out, my friends. The champ is here. I've been here a couple times now and every time I'm here I have this uh, familiar feeling. Maybe it's because of the movies, I don't know. Yeah, this city has energy, I don't know, for some sort of reason. You brought the belt. So right here, Alistair? Yeah. Here's a surprise, he is the champion. So we brought him a, we brought him a, um, a balloon. Alistair brought you this. Hey! You're the king. I brought you one of these. <laughs> for your birthday, this is for you. You have to wear it. You have to wear it because I bought it for you, Alistair. You gotta put it on. I'll be offended if you don't. You can let it go. Let it go. You can let it go in the sky. It's okay. Here we go. What's my hair? Damn it. There you go. <laughs> the champion, Alistair Overeem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one other thing for you, Alistair. Yeah, you put them under like that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. how the cool people wear it. Um, it's three years old. I'm sure you're a little homesick because you're, you're away from your family, right? Yeah. You know this? <laughs> Hey, that's Dutch. Dutch. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying? Hooray, it's birthday. <laughs> Ta la la. But I miss, of course, uh, obviously my uh, my Your family. family right. You know, my brother was uh, was there with the fight. <laughs> let's 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 up. let's you do can... this a little bit different. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's, hard. it's hard to take you seriously. Damn it. <laughs> The king. Let's go the to the, king. Let's get back to the phone lines before we go here, and I, all the tears come down my face from from laughing. Uh, Carrie in Chicago, <laughs> joining the birthday boy, Alistair Overeem, on the MMA Hour. What's up, Carrie? I'm doing a lot of interviews. It's my birthday, by the way. The day uh, I became 30. Big day. God damn it. And uh, yeah, we're here now at Times Square. It's great. You can see the atmosphere, the vibe. So today we're going to be uh, busy conducting interviews. Uh, some phone interviews also. So basically, gonna be busy all day promoting, promoting Stripers, promoting my uh, my championship belt, and uh, looking forward to it. Just another day at the office, even at my birthday. Well, sir, I appreciate your time and congratulations on your success. You're welcome. Thanks.